doing. Okay, so I am just was just heading out to show you guys the garlic beds and just what they're looking like. Today is March 20th in Michigan and it was nice and sunny out and now it's snowing. But let's look at the beds anyway because I'm kind of concerned about the garlic. Okay, so here is bed number one. I can put the garlic planting video down in the description box if you want to check it out because I planted over 200 cloves of garlic between this bed, part of this bed, and then I did some back behind my garage back there. I did a patch of elephant garlic. But now you can see it's all coming up, which is great. And I'm really excited about it in a way because I was just so worried that, you know, as a gardener, I'm super new at this. Sorry, my wind chimes in the background are kind of, kind of noisy. But as a really new gardener, it's like so scary, not scary, but like nerve wracking. Every time I plant something and it's just like, it feels like nothing's gonna come up and nothing's going to work. And so it's just a miracle and just so great that I'm seeing all this growth with the garlic. I'm just a little concerned that it's March 20th and it's snowing and like what's going to happen to the garlic now it's been cold for a couple days we've had such a wide range of temperatures i'm just i can't worry about it because what could i really do about it i mean comment down below if you have anything to say about it i've looked at um some stuff that my gardener talked about mi gardener he's got a great channel so I think basically he says not to worry about it, but I just wanted to show you guys what's happening out here. And I'm just really excited for this coming gardening season and to get things planted. I'm working on sweet potato slips, which I've never done. And I'm just hoping that everything works out. As I'm getting ready to edit this video, I also wanted to say I was really worried about the garlic because I have a lot of squirrels in my backyard, which I love squirrels and everything about them. So I don't have a problem with that or, you know, sharing a tomato here and there or whatever. But they were just furiously digging in my beds after I planted the garlic. So I was just really worried that they took all the garlic. I just, it was keeping me up at night and wondering if they were taking all the garlic and eating them or, hi. I didn't know what was going on. It is really encouraging that they didn't take them. Okay. It's really encouraging that they didn't take them. And I think that they were just burying other things in the bed. So I just wanted to mention that was another one of my big concerns. And I'm just so happy that it's happening. I can't believe it that all of that work I did with the garlic and the prep work I did, if you could see how I prepped the garlic before I planted it, it looks really, really good. I'm really excited. And then just real quick for reference, it's not gonna focus now with me pointing, but real quick, that is the elephant garlic patch. And it's also gonna be my home to chives. I have a lot of chives back here, so hopefully they'll come back up that I have back here and that I've transplanted back here, garlic chives, regular chives. So hopefully we'll have chives and elephant garlic. But as you can see, also the elephant garlic is popping up, which is super exciting. Hopefully nothing to worry about here, given the crazy range of temperatures that we're having, but that's the elephant garlic. Fingers crossed. Just wanted to say a quick hello. Thanks for watching. I'll put some videos down below and a couple here for you to check out between now and my next upload. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more of my content. I upload every other day and I can't wait to see you next time.